We have three levels at present that we're training. We have a certificate three, four and diploma. We have contemporary dance, we have contemporary indigenous dance, we have ballet of course. Then we've got music, we've got music composition. We've also got a new course called Dance Film, which is really exciting because they learn to how to make dance films and use dance as a medium to make films. As Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, our way of knowing the world, giving meaning to everything in it, comes through dance, music, the visual arts. So I'm really committed to seeing that NASDA is a college that thrives into the future and continues to produce amazing graduates who go on to have careers all around the world. I don't have a performing bone in my body, but my role on the board isn't to, isn't to perform, I guess. It's, it's to make sure that we're strategically uh, developing the organisation um, and sustaining it for the future. I see value in uh, giving our next generation um, you know, a foundation of culture, dance, song, language. Dancing, it's my voice. Instead of talking, it's a way for me to connect to what I'm saying, connect to my history and my past, and connect to the future. NASDA has basically given my culture back. That would be the main thing. That's the main reason why I came here. I got that and so much more. I know a lot of other dance schools, they don't have the cultural connection that NASDA has. One of the reasons I chose NASDA was because it wasn't just about dancing, it's about telling the stories and moving forward. Dance is just a different way to express. For me, definitely watching dance, it's very, very powerful and it really just shoots forward and hits you right where it needs to hit you. The thing I love about NASA, it's a place where people can come who have disengaged with education for whatever reasons, but have an artistic bent and talent in that direction. I mean, they can hone those skills to be able to move forward and have a career. Some will go down the professional dance path and end up as professional dancers with the likes of Bangara. Others will go down the independent dance stream and become their own independent dance artists. Others will go into the cultural dance stream and use cultural dance as their form of teaching and communicating. NASDA wouldn't survive without government support. One of the beautiful things about NASDA is that we don't charge fees. We've got our young people coming from very different socioeconomic backgrounds and to have a safe and open space for them to be able to come and train and not have to pay fees is really important for us. That support that a government can give is critical not only to the college but to the identity of the nation.